another asteroid alert. The sun, they said, will obliterate the asteroid belt. This is according to a new study. The sun will obliterate the asteroid belt and turn space rocks to debris and dust. That's when our host star finally reaches the end of its life in about four and a half billion years, according to researchers' new results. The sun has a very finite amount of energy. In around five billion years, it will cease to be. And when it dies, it will go into a blaze of glory and wreak havoc across our solar system and even the asteroid belt. Planets inside of the asteroid belt, which includes Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, will of course be consumed as the sun expands and runs out of fuel. But the asteroid belt will be turned to dust according to new research. The asteroid belt is the region between Mars and Jupiter, which contains the debris, millions of space rocks orbiting our sun. It'll be destroyed when the sun dies as the whole star releases a huge amount of electromagnetic radiation. It's known as the Yarkovsky O'Keefe Radzievsky Paddock, York, YORP for short, Y-O-R-P. The effect sees small celestial bodies such as the asteroids change the orientation when the heat of the star changes. We know of the Yarkovsky effect. We recently found about this about uh, July 25th. That's when a 40-foot asteroid was supposed to pass beyond our moon into the wild black yonder space. And instead of doing that, it came and careened into the Caribbean Sea unexpectedly. And that's when the astronomers informed us of what is the Yarkovsky effect. That's when the radiation of the sun heats the body of the celestial rock. It's as if it's uh, pounding on it and causes a temperature differential to uh, cause the asteroid to spin on its axis and then come off its trajectory. That's what happened to the asteroid that was passing by on July 25th and unexpectedly careened into the Caribbean Sea. Thank goodness about 70% of the Earth's surface is water, so it uh, did not hit land. Now, this is what is expected to be taking effect. They will be influenced by the heat, the radiation from the sun, and change their rotation. And when the sun is dying, it'll heat up and expand massively, and it'll cause the rotation of asteroids to alter in the asteroid belt. The light from the sun will be absorbed by the asteroids, as we said with the Yarkovsky effect, and will then uh, generate th thrust into the space rocks, according to the new research published in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. And this Yarkovsky effect thrust from the radiation will cause asteroids to spin rapidly, and as they do, they begin to disintegrate, eventually leaving debris and a dust cloud of space orbiting our expanding sun. The astrophysicist Dimitri Veras of the University of Warwick said, when a typical star reaches a giant branch stage, its luminosity reaches a maximum of between 1,000 and 10,000 times the luminosity of our sun. Then the star contracts down into the Earth-sized white dwarf very quickly, where its luminosity drops to levels below our suns. Hence, the Yarkovsky YORP effect is very important during the giant branch phase, but almost non-existent after the star has become a white dwarf. For one solar mass giant branch stars, like what our sun will become, even exo-asteroid belt analogies will be effectively destroyed, and the YORP effect, the Yarkovsky effect in these systems, is very violent and acts quickly in the order of a million years. Not only will our own asteroid belt be destroyed, it will be done quickly and violently and due solely to the light from our sun. So, the, uh, he, Dr. Veras says the remains of asteroids will eventually create a disk of a debris field which orbit the dead star. He said these results help locate debris fields in giant branch and white dwarf planetary systems, which is crucial to determining 
how white dwarfs are polluted. He says we need to know where the debris is in the time the star becomes a white dwarf to understand how disks are formed. So the YORP effect provides important context for determining where that debris would originate. Now this is by Sean Martin on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.